Hello everybody, welcome back to NSW and welcome to NSW Raw for week four in January. We are in the Royal Rumble week and we are in front of 6,278 people in the India Farms of Coliseum for tonight's Raw. Let's get down to the pre-show. In a pre-show about that head, um, didn't have much heat, terrible wrestling. Yuri Watson defeated Roland Sheridan in 440. Roland Sheridan has been uh, somebody who's come into the game. Pretty good stats, so I thought we'd bring him into NSW. He's got no pop anywhere, so we have to build him up. Um, Yuri Watson showing him the ropes. Yeah, he got a, four, a 45 rated. In a decent pre-show match, the Hounds defeated the Good Brothers in 757 when Jason Crew submitted Carl Anderson with the cross face. 59 overall. Uh, both teams got specialty bonuses, it looks like, and good, decent ratings. Good pre-show match. And then in a pre-show bout that had great heat and decent wrestling, Becca defeated Alexa Bliss in 813 by submission. Becca and Selena here still can't get that over that awkward parent <clears throat> fire and desire maybe on the way out. Um, but a 66 overall. And then Raw opens up, big fireworks, everything goes bang, 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 bang. And of course, the, re the recap from last week gets us a 57 uh, for that one. Just your normal run-of-the-mill stuff. And then in a bout that had good, great heat and good wrestling, Adrian Kincaid and DM West defeated Edgar and Trey Donovan in 7.43 when Adrian Kincaid pinned Edgar. Adrian Kincaid has been on this role that he's determined to end the Hall of Famer, Edgar, and he picks up a big win here tonight. Edgar off his game for a 64. Uh, Trey Donovan, 72, the best of the bunch. And then backstage, MVP is talking to Pat McAfee, and, and MVPs says that he's been granted a US title shot against Bobby Hall at the Royal Rumble this Sunday night. In MVP playing up, saying that Bobby Hall's time is coming to an end and MVP and Bobby Lashley will both be holding gold by the end of the Royal Rumble. And in a 50 rated segment about that had decent reaction from the crowd but subpar wrestling, Cody Hagen defeated Woken Littlewood in 746 by pinfall with a Splash Mountain powerbomb. Woken Littlewood got a 48, Cody with a 42. These two just didn't click at all. I'm going to have to write that down because I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. And versus Hagen. No chem. But for a 50 rated segment, Hagen picking up the win. And then uh, Alex Shelley, the 24-7 champion, comes on the screen and says that him and Hagen will fight for the 24-7 championship if they can get there with one piece at the Royal Rumble. That match will be um, a part of the show. 48 rated segment. In a good match, Bobby Hall and Keith Lee defeated Tough D Justice at 7.49 when Bobby Hall pinned BG Nelson with the end of the world. Bobby Hall picking up a big win going into his United States title defence um, against MVP at the Rumble. Um, BG Nelson was off his game. Um, obviously, Tough Justice had the good chemistry. 64 for Keith Lee, 67 for Bobby Hall, 71 for Marvelous on Raw, and 60 for BG Nelson. A 65 rated match. And then we have a promo about Tyler Jordan. He's coming to Raw. Um, and he, it's just really just saying that he's coming in the next few weeks. 45 rated segment. And then in a 69 nice rated segment, Charlotte Omega defeated Megan in A12 by pinfall with an angle slam. Charlotte Omega with a 69. Nice. Megan with a 64. Um, and... Now it looks like it's going to be Charlotte Omega versus Becky Lynch for the title uh, opportunity. Uh, but Becky comes down, beats up Charlotte Omega from behind for a 73. Um, Becky Lynch looking to get the, the Royal Women's Championship um, and she will look to get it at the Royal Rumble. In about that had decent reaction from the crowd, but subpar wrestling giant Limbo defeated Mike Shaller in 5 for 53 by pinfall. With the Samoan spike. Mike Shaller got a 45. Giant Limbo with a 42. Remember it's going to be Limbo's team. Versus the, the NSW Elite. At the Royal Rumble. It's Limbo and Vince Albright. I do believe going into that 49 rated segment. And in a freestyle segment. Limbo and. Oh no sorry. Vladimir. Not, Vladimir Vince Albright. Vladimir I do apologise. 
and Giant Lumbo beat down the, the NSW Elite for a 50-rated segment. As I said, these two teams going for the Raw Tag Team Championships coming up at the weekend. And then about that had fantastic heat and decent wrestling. Seth Rollins defeated Finn Balor in 7.56 by pinfall uh, using underhanded tactics. Finn Balor 58, Seth Rollins 60. This got us a 68 overall. Unfortunately, Finn Balor and Seth Rollins just did not click. So that's another thing that we have to maybe look out for in the future. 68 overall. And then backstage, Daniel Cage um, is speaking uh, to Pat. Um, and he, for some unknown reason, I put it down that he'd speak to Bobby Lashley, but that's who he's facing. <laughs> 67 rated segment. Daniel Cage was saying that he's going to beat Bobby Lashley tonight, and then at the Royal Rumble, he's going to take out Zadlan, and he is going to become the World Heavyweight Champion at the Rumble. Um, of course, a big night coming up this Sunday night. In game, of course. And in a few minutes segment, uh, here comes Nova Mahal, storms into Kurt Angle's office. He's asking, saying, look, why am I not getting any like opportunities? I should be, I am the modern day Maharaja. I should be the one that's leading this brand. And Kurt just sits there and goes, you need to show me, Nova. You need to show me why you want to be. But next week, I'm going to give you that opportunity. You're going to get a match next week and you can show me why. I should why I should put you in title opportunities. You need to show me next week. Nova says fine. Slams the door, opens the door back up again. Kurt's like, okay. He's like, by the way, Kurt, I'm winning the Royal Rumble, and he slams the door on the way out. And then in a fantastic heat, in fact, match that had fantastic heat and great wrestling. Daniel uh, Daniel Cage drew with Bobby Lashley in eight twenty two when the match descended into chaos. Thanks to Zadlan, who came out and decided to get involved. It meant for a 69, nice. Uh, unfortunately, it just went all over the place. The match ended in, um, in, well, there was no result. So it meant we don't know what happens, what's going to happen going into the Royal Rumble. Um, Zadlan left both men lying on the, on the floor, like in the ring, as he, the pyro goes off, as the show goes off the air. And everybody left wondering what is going to happen at the Royal Rumble. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Raw Talk. And we start things off with Pat McAfee and Josh Lowe at the table, of course, as always. Adrian Kincaid and Dan, Dan Brick, the super agent, comes out. And Adrian Kincaid's laughing, saying, you see what I did tonight? I defeated Edgar again. And after I win the Rumble this week, Edgar will certainly know that I should be in the Hall of Fame, not him. Remember, Kincaid is the name around here, and I am the man that should be classed as the Hall of Fame. And what I've done for this company, Dan Brick, they're just looking, agreeing with everything he says. And Pat says, Dan, do you have anything to say? And Dan just goes, did you not hear what my client just said? My client said he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He is Hall of Fame worthy. Adrian Kincaid is a name in professional wrestling, which you, when you listen, you he talks, you listen. When he's on the card, you turn up. Kincaid is the man. Both storm off, 52-rated segment. And then Kurt, uh, that was meant to be Kurt Angle. Apologies, I've put MVP on there. Um, Kurt Angle turns up, and um, they talk about what's going to happen at the Rumble. He says, well, after tonight's actions, I've now decided it's going to be a triple threat match between Zadlan, Bobby Lashley, and Daniel Cage for the World Heavyweight title this week. Uh, this week at the Royal Rumble coming up. Um, and all I can say is good luck to all three of them because I think that it's going to be chaos. Um, so why don't we throw um, a few things in there? Everything goes. No rules. First man to get a pinfall or submission walks out the world heavyweight champion. And then finally, Becky Lynch comes to um, the the desk. She's the last one to join us this week. Oh, only 32. I don't know what happened there. Um, but Becky's coming out saying she can't wait for the Royal Rumble. She can't wait to get her hands and destroy Charlotte Omega. She showed tonight just a little glimpse 
a little preview of what's going to happen this um, Sunday at the Royal Rumble. And Becky says, I might just enter the Royal Rumble as well. You never know. You could call me Becky Two Belts um, by the, the end um, of WrestleMania season. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are finished this week. It is a 69. Nice. Oh, what a lovely way to end. Yes, um, 69 rated. So I, I felt it was a little lackluster, but it was 69. That's, that'll do us. Um, and we head for the red brand of Raw into the Royal Rumble, of course, coming to you later this week. Stay tuned. Um, I hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.